Meanwhile, the Fastest Horse of the Week segment brought to you again by one of the fast sires at Windstar Farm, the only stallion at Windstar, actually the only stallion in the world who is a son of the Red Hot Constitution and as a racehorse was precocious enough to be undefeated as a two-year-old. That would be Independence Hall as a two-year-old. He won both his starts, including the Grade 3 Nashua Stakes by a combined 17 and a half lengths. Then he added a win on New Year's Day in the Jerome and Aqueduct. He got a 101 buyer in the Nashua, the highest that year for any two-year-old. And he came back as a four-year-old to run a 105 buyer, winning the Grade 2 Fayette at Keeneland. Independence Hall has his first yearlings this year, and he stands at one star for $10,000. Fastest horse of the week came courtesy of a Thursday allowance race, a sprint at uh, Aqueduct, and that would be Joey Freshwater, four-year-old son of Jimmy Creed, trained by Linda Rice, who was eligible for the non-winners of three other than condition, scored by three and three-quarters lengths under Jose Lescano, six furlongs, 109.57 seconds. Joey Freshwater, a sometimes anxious and quirky colt, best known for winning the grade three Bay Shore Stakes almost exactly a year ago at Aqueduct. Uh, that was four races after he was claimed for $50,000 as a two-year-old by winning move stables. Steve Sigler, Joey Freshwater, clicking on all cylinders last week, career high buyer speed figure of 105. One more thing briefly. Last week, I mentioned my trivia question. We were talking about fierceness in his 110 buyer speed figure in the Florida Derby. And remember, I asked when the last time any horse in the field of the Kentucky Derby had run a career high buyer speed figure as high as 110. I said, we have the answer at the end of the show. I forgot. So I've given you a whole week to think about it. The correct answer would be another horse trained by Todd Pletcher, ridden by John Velasquez in the Florida Derby. And that would be Materiality, who won the 2015 Florida Derby with a 110 buyer speed figure, then got in trouble at the start in American Pharaoh's Kentucky Derby and ran sixth.